The worry must be that Southampton and Aston Villa are running out of games. Southampton have six to get out of the bottom three. Villa have six fixtures now to try and get into a UEFA Cup position. It's a big ask, but the manager David O'Leary has the enviable record of never having finished outside the top six in his time in charge of Villa or Leeds United. Jakobsen. Long towards Cratch. And shoulder to shoulder there with J. Lloyd Samuel. And Cratch has emerged with the ball. Now Phillips, glorious opportunity for Kevin Phillips. And it's one that he has taken. Kevin Phillips, a target for Aston Villa back in January, has given Southampton the lead here. What a start, just four minutes gone. Well, it's a goal that owes so much to the perseverance of Peter Crouch out at the corner flag. A good ball in, misjudgment from Martin Larson here. As Phillips just opened his body and stepped away. First touch wasn't the best, but at full stretch, a lovely little finish. Redknapp. Telford to his right. And here's Crouch. Peter Crouch, 2-0 to Southampton. What a fantastic start it's been. Good break, Crouch runs off Martin Larson here. De La Cruz have gone forward, but under real pressure. Again, it's a wonderfully composed finish. Larson desperately trying to get across. Can't make up the ground. And Villa really have it all to do now. by Delaney, here's Phillips, another chance for Phillips, super stop by Sorensen, Crouch was following up, but despite his long, long legs, he's six foot seven, don't forget, he couldn't quite get there, and that is a wonderful reflex stop, Crouch a full stretch, just gets under his studs there, Telfer again, Telfer driving forward, Quasi's up there, Phillips is now arriving, Cross needs to be a good one, he's found Bernard, oh another great save by Sorensen, Quasi now, here's Telford. This is a great example of the energy of Southampton, you don't expect your left back, Bernard, he's one best part of 100 yards to win that at the back post, and again it's Sorensen who saves Villa. Yeah, came to him off Davis, his own teammate, ball has ricocheted away to Cole, Hendrick, good run this by Solano, perfectly positioned, Cole, he's got one at last, his first in 23 games, and it has given Aston Villa a lifeline here at the start of the second half. Good diagonal ball, but watch this for a layoff, takes all the pace off the ball, and it means Cole didn't have to break straight, rather than going for real power here, rather than blast it, he goes for control, and the Emmy is never getting across. Hitzelsberger. On by Hendrik. Cole's back heel. Well read by Davenport. And Hell. Now Solano. And Hell has got the angle for the cross. Oh, and now Emmy's made the save. He's just kept it out. Cole denied this time. Villa players are racing over to the assistant on the far side. Oh, that's an unbelievable save. And they just slice Southampton open here, ankle into the perfect area. Slightly behind Cole, he's under pressure from Redknapp. Well, does Niemi do enough? Certainly a big claim from the Villa players that that's over the line. I have to see if the assistant is not sure. If he can't see any deal, and I think that just about clears it up. The whole ball is certainly not over the line. Southampton with so many chances, three terrific saves in that first half by Sorensen, of course. Like Villa, they've had to readjust at the back, Jakobsen having gone off to be replaced by Callum Davenport. Oh, it's come through to Angel. Corner kick. It's good defending by Lundekvam. Cole pushes squeeze on Davenport once it clears the two of them. Southampton under real pressure. Southampton currently creaking, 
Solano, 2-2, would you believe it? Two down at half-time. And two substitutes have combined to get the goals here for Aston Villa, which has turned this game around, has turned the Premiership relegation battle around. Well, he's not really picked up at the back post, Solano. He could have taken it first time, and he has the technique to take this first time. Instead, he controls it, and it's Rory Delap who can't quite get out quickly enough, but what, again, a composed finish. Head up, and he just passes that inside the far post. Delaney got there ahead of Cratch. Clearance only as far as the set. Well claimed by Sorensen. Barry. Hitzelsberg. How Aston Villa will miss him next season. Davis. Dela Cruz. Solano's in there. It's Davis. And Villa are in front. Stephen Davis has got the goal, his first ever goal in the Premiership, set up by Ulysses de la Cruz. That's absolutely astonishing, Tony. 10 out of 10 to Young Davis, it was he who played the ball wide right in the first place to de la Cruz. It's all the paces already on it, he's really just got to redirect it. And he changes the angle sufficiently well that it foxes Niemi through his legs. And all of a sudden this game has been stood in its head. They are shell-shocked. They are dumbfounded. Phillips with something to chase. Delaney just about managing to stretch his goalkeeper then. Flagger stayed down. Cole is onside. This could settle it. Oh dear. Dear, oh dear. They weren't looking for an offside. Callum Davenport stepped up. The arm was up immediately. Looking for offside. He is on though. Doesn't get up quickly enough. What a chance to finish the match off. Redknapp. Quasi. camera oh he's done really well and like Colton Cole at the other end the finish was a disappointing one that certainly was did magnificently well to make the space but it's got to go across the goalkeeper little nutmeg to get him away there from Hitzelsberger but he never gets a hold of the shot Lassau Andy Derso has had a look at his watch time for Southampton to take the throw Delap ready to wind up a long throw. He can barely watch. Crouch is in there. Sorensen holds on, and surely now Aston Villa have held on to the win. Good decision by Thomas Sorensen to stay in his lane, actually. Might have been tempted to come for that. Ended up a comfortable catch. Driven forward by Naimi. And that is it. Aston Villa have secured an unlikely away win at Southampton where they trailed by two goals to nil at half-time. After 27 seasons in the Premiership and the top division in England, could Southampton now be on their way out?